Good morning guys and welcome to my very first weekly vlog in English. Uh, after reading your comments under my Gran Canaria vlog, I just decided to give it a try and start weekly vlogging in English because you really seem to like it. Uh, it's Tuesday today. Um, I decided to do this yesterday evening so all of my yesterday's clips make absolutely no sense because they're all in Polish but all I said was um, I shared a recipe for a salad with you. I don't know if any of you remember how I was in Edinburgh and I was making those random salads with bulgur wheat mixed salad with uh, tahini dressing, sun-dried tomatoes and all the different random things from my cupboards. And I decided to recreate it yesterday and I had the biggest salad in the whole world because I found this huge <laughs> white bowl that's basically the size of my 10 heads. One hack that I wanted to share is that I never mix my dressing in like a small bowl or jar. I just put it straight into the big bowl where I'm gonna have my salad and then I add all of the ingredients. And thanks to this, you just have less dishes, less cleaning, I'm happy. Today is Tuesday, as I was saying, and it's my day off. I don't have classes. I'm gonna be filming two videos for you and preparing for university. It's quite cloudy, so it's actually fine stay home and after my weekend with my friend Akasha I just feel like it's time to relax a little bit but anyway I think I'll see you at lunchtime introducing my new love coconut rice porridge with all of my favorite customized ingredients with baked banana cinnamon chia seeds and hemp seeds plus obviously a cup of coffee with oat milk I'm in heaven that's the best start of every day it looks a little bit messy today i'm not gonna lie i'm usually doing a better job arranging my breakfast but trust me it is heaven today's a really gloomy day and the lighting seems really really awkward for some reason but i just left the house to go and buy myself some fresh flowers because i did my grocery shopping yesterday i forgot to get flowers and for some reason having them in the flat makes me extremely happy but it's raining a bit and I just feel like cuddling in my bed and doing some work. So that's probably what I'm gonna do today. Guys, don't they look absolutely gorgeous? I feel like the room just has so much more life. Not light though, because I have one window, this one here, and it's super dark, but it's okay. I wanted to share something super random with you, which is my dream from last night. I had a dream that I was Blake Lively and Donald Trump was hitting on me. What the F? <laughs> Can you believe it? Like, what is what is going on in here? Like, where does it come from? Like, what's what's what are my hidden thoughts, guys? This is this is really weird. <laughs> it's really weird. By the way, that's my camera because I managed to film a video for you today, which I'm very proud of. It's a Q and A. It's in Polish though, but I'm getting there. I need to figure out whether you actually want to listen to me both in English and Polish, or just in English, or just in Polish. We'll see how that goes, but for now, a Polish Q&A. Can we just take a moment and appreciate this view? This is heaven, okay? I was saying that the breakfast was heaven, that is heaven too. That is my definition of food porn, guys. Homemade fries slash chips with uh, butternut squash hummus that I got at Aldi and an amazing salad with baked beetroot, fresh tomatoes, avocado, some sunflower seeds and a mixed salad with a nice um, French vinaigrette, just like the basic dressing. This time not tahini, woo woo! Good afternoon everyone, it's Wednesday here today. I came back from uni, I was starving, so I made myself this dreamy bowl with homemade hummus. It's all about the bowls, am I right or am I right? It was so good. Anyway, and now I'm about to head out because uh, it's Fashion Revolution week and I'm going to a very exciting event in the city center. If you don't know what Fashion Revolution is, where the hell have you been? Uh, I'll explain everything to you once I'm back or tomorrow, but now I really need to go because I'm late as always. Uh, we 
we learn a lot more so we can uh, tell the story and yeah. I just left the event guys and I'm just so inspired by what I've seen, what I've heard. I'm gonna tell you all about it once I get home. That's what they call big city life, ain't it? Guys, I just arrived at this place called Factory, which is uh, like a startup common space that you can rent out and just work on your business which I think is amazing and I'm here for a meeting I'm super excited I just realized I forgot a word I meant co-working space English Raincoat team forever So I just left factory which is a co-working space here in Berlin where any creatives and startups can just um, subscribe to, join, and um, work on their projects in a very beautifully designed and furnished space, which I am... I feel so weird when I vlog in public, people. Anyway, I had a very exciting meeting with a guy that I met recently about something that I can't really talk about but it was great and i feel super inspired it's a beautiful quite chilly evening and my weekend starts here because i have friday saturday and sunday off as always and i have a few events associated with the fashion revolution and i completely forgot to tell you what it was about because uh, yesterday i was just really tired and the lighting was quite shitty but i will tell you now Hopefully, or uh, I'll just promise you again and never do it. Guys, actually, the day before yesterday, I stayed up late and instead of going to bed, I made some hummus that I had as part of my bowl yesterday and I got these quite nice um, lentil crisps. I added a little bit of nutritional yeast and I'm having this gorgeous snack just now. It's so good. Good morning guys and welcome back to my favorite breakfast of all time. I've been eating this for three weeks with a short break for the rice thingy that I showed you the other day. But that's just a soy almond yogurt with my customized granola, banana, some berries and hemp seeds plus obviously coffee with some oat milk hello guys so i literally have 10 minutes for you and i will finally explain to you what fashion revolution is this whole fashion initiative that i've been talking about it's called fashion revolution it goes worldwide and its main aim is to raise awareness when it comes to ethical fashion so paying attention where your clothes come from uh, asking brands and uh, who made my clothes that's the hashtag of the whole campaign who made my clothes um so it's all about um becoming more brands becoming more transparent when it comes to their uh, whole supply chain and where the clothes are actually manufactured uh, i have had the honor to be a part of the polish edition so i have shared my story about two of um important pieces of my wardrobe so i'll leave a link to this video for you but it's in polish so it's for all the polish people which i'm sure it's like 90 percent of you but i'm still speaking english which makes no sense uh, well that's a test anyway right now i'm so excited because uh, i'm going for a meeting with cherry which is one of the people that were on the panel two days ago and we connected through instagram and now we're gonna go for coffee have a little chat about sustainable fashion which i am so passionate about and i know very little of so i'm more than happy to just find out a little bit more from someone who actually knows more about it than i like a million times more than i uh anyway i'm wearing a vintage um shirt today and spring is back in town it's a beautiful day i'm gonna head out the door hopefully not be late this one time but today i'm also going to a yoga class in the park if you saw my video from last week I went to a yoga class, I'm going to one today and to one tomorrow because the weather is beautiful and there's some amazing yoga classes in town. That's why I love Berlin. Anyway, let's go. Can you guys believe I'm actually not late? Wow. 
Welcome to Heaven part 100 aka my huge dinner bowls are life. Roasted potatoes, homemade hummus, the usual salad. Let me enjoy it. Yoga class in the park is always a good idea. I just finished my class, it started at 6 and I feel so great. It might not look that convincing, but it is hands down the best breakfast I've ever made, guys. I tried to recreate a macanana bowl from Hula Juice Bar in Edinburgh where I used to work. And it's basically all things banana, peanut butter and my favorite nutty fruity toppings. Walking back from yoga again. Good start of the weekend. I just came back from yoga and I'm going to have a protein shake, vanilla protein shake, uh, and some grapes as a snack. Hey guys, I kind of forgot to film today because I slept in, then I did some work, had the best breakfast all the time, and I headed over to Mala Park where I had my outdoor yoga class which I love the same one I did yesterday with the same instructor it was amazing I rushed back home I got ready put some nice clothes on um, had the snack that you saw and I am about to meet some girls from uni because we are gonna work on a group presentation and marketing which is super boring because it's such a great day and I'm gonna be studying uh, but afterwards I was thinking of not going back home and just chilling somewhere in the nature because then at 8 I am meeting my friend Lucas uh, who's organizing like a nice dinner and drinks at his place so I'm gonna be there at 8 so I might have like two hours to just relax in the nature I brought my book I brought some homework because I am lame AF and now I have 15 minutes till my Uban leaves. Uban is the subway, the metro. And it's funny because it's actually really punctual. Like in no other place where I lived, I was actually checking the timetable because it made no sense. Everything was just like coming and going, whatever. But in here, it's actually on time always. So that German cliche actually does make sense here. Anyway, it's a lovely day. I might bring the camera with me. I'm, I'm still hesitating. Like I would like to bring it, but it's kind of not practical at all. We'll see, we'll see. I just finished my meeting with the girls from uni. I'm in Steglitz, which is a really nice area here in the south. And there's so many beautiful houses. I'm gonna take a bus to Charlottenburg, where my friend lives. And I'm gonna have a walk around the neighborhood because I heard there's beautiful houses as well. Look at this. Look at this beautiful Saturday afternoon. beautiful Charlottenburg Palace. It's 7.30 and I'm about to head to my friend's house but I'm actually glad that I walked here because it's really really lovely. Although my feet hurt so much, I'm wearing these shoes that I bought a few months ago but I haven't worn them at all and I'm suffering really. But still it was worth coming here. Although look at this, the sky looks like it's about to rain. See? These busters are causing me so much freaking pain. If anyone is interested how to make this uh, smoothie bowl of dreams, it's basically frozen banana, plant-based milk, um, peanut butter and some berries so that it has this beautiful color. But don't put too many berries because then they're gonna be too dominant and you want it to be really banana and peanut buttery and on top I just put my favorite muesli some chopped almonds, uh, coconut flakes and some more berries plus obviously more peanut butter and it's hands down the best thing I've ever eaten Good morning! Good Sunday!
guys i got home and i literally rushed to the kitchen and spent the last hour making my dinner which i thought is going to be super super quick which didn't happen obviously and i made another bowl and this time it's some roasted potatoes homemade hummus some uh, vegetable loaf from easter that i just uh, pan fried a salad with um yogurt dressing and just some boiled potatoes because i felt like the ones that i roasted were not enough so that's what my bowl looks like it's everything and nothing a little bit of um did I say homemade hummus? I made hummus as well. So some homemade hummus, some vegan butter, salt, pepper, rosemary, avocado, just literally everything that I love. It was meant to be a Polish dinner because of the patties and the, the salad with yogurt and the potatoes, but it ended up being a fusion that I have every day, basically. So let me enjoy it. It's like half past seven and I'm gonna watch The Crown because that's the show that I started watching because I finished um, I, was calling me. No. I finished um, Peaky Blinders and my heart was broken so now I'm on the crown bandwagon anyway I'll eat now okay guys I'm gonna have to end my vlog here it's Sunday evening I've been working on some uni stuff uh, for the last hour or so I had the weirdest day today I didn't actually talk to the camera much because I woke up at like 10 o'clock or 10 30 and i was tired for the whole day i just stayed in bed i couldn't focus i couldn't motivate myself to do anything then i went to um see my friend i came back i had dinner and i just found some motivation to do things uh, because i basically had to but other than that i've been feeling very very strange and i just found out that it's full moon today and full moon tends to affect me in a weird way so this time i was just extremely tired and not motivated to work um but yes that was my first video in english like my first weekly vlog in english and i guess i'll do a polish one next month uh, next month next week because i feel a lot more comfortable speaking in polish i guess um i just got used to vlogging in polish and I have a lot more to share for some reason and I just have a different personality. I don't know. Let me know what you think, but these um, vlogs go a week after the actual week that it's about. So I won't get your direct feedback, but I'll just test the waters and see how it goes. Anyway, if you stuck to the end, I am very grateful and thank you so much for um, watching this video. Let me know what you think. Please be nice. And I'll see you again in an English video soon-ish, I guess. Bye!